So here I've got the init preset, and I want to start by looking at the oscillator section. We're at the sawtooth waveform here. We can morph anywhere we want in there, but I'm just going to click on the label. Now we can modulate the movement of that morphing. So let's say I go to an envelope. I'll dial some up. I'll slow the attack down. You hear that little bit of movement right at the attack of the note. I can do more. It's a little dramatic. A little bit adds a bit of movement to the attack of the note. And we can set it bipolar to a negative amount where it'll dial up to the, that amount to this static waveform shape. More positive. Now, when we go to LFO, we'll modulate the movement based on the speed, the depth here. So that's nice for a little bit of light, subtle movement. Now we can adjust the tuning. Let's say I'm going to dial up the second oscillator as well. And this is sounding an octave lower. And I'll modulate this as well with the envelope, same amount. Or in the other direction, maybe. Let's go that way. I can detune them subtly. If you go within about 10 cents, plus or minus, you get a nice tonal type of chorus sound. More than that, and it's a little dissonant. Sounds out of tune, but within about 10 cents or so, works nicely. So let's just go back and initialize the preset again. I'm going to turn off this panning, kind of distracting. Now, the FM oscillator 2 sets the amount of frequency modulation from oscillator 2 that's going to be applied here. So I can start by dialing some up. Let's set this to triangle wave to both. So that's the sound of FM synthesis. And we can modulate it again with the envelope. Again, I'll slow down the attack. Or with the LFO. But pretty distant. To get more usable results, let's dial this down. And we can modulate. It's kind of like a silent oscillator affecting this. And we can change the tuning of it. Kind of interesting, or the LFO modulation. And we can sync it to tempo if we wanted to. Change the shape of it. Let's go back to here. And of course we can dial it into the mix. And we're hearing this interval, in this case, nine semitones. So let's say I'll option click to put it back to the same octave as this. So it's a way to use the FM oscillator. And then again, we're just going to go back to the init patch and look at the sync function here. So this generates a second silent oscillator pitch that's used as a sync source. So it generates thick, interesting harmonic textures when we sweep the controls. So let me dial this up. And that movement is kind of the hard sync sound. And this can be pitched anywhere we want. I can pitch this up, let's say, an octave. And they've all got unique sounds. I can snap it to the same octave. So let's say I'm going to go down one octave. And then again, we can use the LFO or the envelope to modulate it. Let's set it down low and there's just a bit of modulation right on the attack. We can have it ramp up slower and then decay slower. Maybe not that slow. Or I can have it rest at a higher position in the modulation of this amount. Versus lower. It stays darker versus brighter. Or we can modulate it with the LFO.
Now we also have a noise generator. I'll just focus on this for a moment. White noise, pink noise. And we can play with the amp envelope to get different types of sounds. Like for example, a snare drum type of sound. And so on. And we can blend that in with pitch if we want. Get a nice pluck with some articulation. And again, I'll just go back to the init reset and we can look at the pitch modulation. And again, I can slow the attack down. Or I can have it take longer to decay until it falls to that sustained level. And we can have it sustain at a higher pitch. And we can have it come from under. So this determines the pitch it's going to land on, and at zero, it'll be the note that we're hitting. So a little bit unnatural sounding, but a little bit of a pitch bend can be interesting lead type sound and then with a longer release on the amp envelope so that's an idea of the pitch envelope and of course we can modulate it with the LFO as well the siren type of effect and shapes is actually a good way to understand what these shapes do. And this is straight on and off. Based on the amount here. Or sample and hold. Just different amounts within the range and a faster rate. You can get random kind of scale generated. It can be cool and you can sync it to tempo. So lots of fun. We'll continue with more in the next video.